Dale Weiner here, here to discuss more about what We Do Good Deals is about. Now, it's not about coupon type ads. It's not even about discounts because if you don't want to discount your product, then I, I don't blame you there. What this is about is trying to sell certificates and gift cards to customers and potential customers while this bad epidemic is around and beyond. Now, currently, since this is happening, a lot of small businesses can't be open. And that means there's no income coming through. And I understand the stimulus is coming and all these little things to help, but a Band-Aid on a, f on a broken arm is not going to help anything. So, I know you can sell, and sell your own gift certificates and can create things like that then you have to market it and push it and all that other stuff. That is where the whole thing comes together. And currently, like I said, since the small business is the community that is hurting the most, that 350 that $5 is being waived. There is no fee outside of the 3% that goes with credit processing. That's currently, you know... I'm not doing big enough volume to make that low enough. Eventually I'll do a big enough volume where that'll be pretty much nothing. And, and that's pretty much the goal on that. But with that being said, so if you're selling a $25 gift certificate gift card to your business, it's going to cost about a dollar to sell it, to process it through credit cards. And then it gets to them and then you get the money within 24 hours unlike some other programs uh, and you're not discounting your services if you want to discount your services you can do that just as well as anywhere else and with that be pushed just as much with that I only say that because sometimes people do like to look for deals that's why deals is in the name and we do good is what it's all about though trying to do good in the community and like it shows over here if you haven't been looking at it this whole time uh, there's the five dollar flat usually I don't try to sell anything less than twenty five dollar things so that way you'll still be able to make twenty minus the dollar in credit processing will be nineteen dollars so for twenty five dollars you're still making nineteen dollars on here it's a twenty dollar thing if you see the fourteen plus that's if you were selling a $30 gift certificate for $20, $14 at least would be back into your hand out of that 20 The five would go to the community and the dollar processing would be the other dollar. That's pretty much how that whole thing works. I'm also working on, with uh, gift card creators uh, on creating this kind of program to be able to put that out for me as well uh, and when they get sold at stores when we put a wall of you know like you see with the big names I'm looking to keep local businesses involved in all that too that is another part of this whole we do good deals we're trying to build that so there's a lot of different things that I'm trying to do that's why I don't sleep that's why I'm up all night as you can tell it's just a very quiet thing because upstairs we have the wife and the baby sleeping. Two o'clock in the morning, that's usually what it is. See, normally on a Saturday I'm out doing Uber driving too. You know, actually I do try to make my own living. This is not about making profit. This is about legacy. This is about building something that will sustain life after me. And that's why it's going to be a B Corp or a non-profit. I'm not 100% if I want to become my own non-profit because it's a lot more uh, my control would seem to be a little spread out when I can control what goes on with the money that's made I can do things like this I can guarantee where the money is going and this ends out to the, to the community see Whatever money comes in is documented, will be shown to you, just like all of this. That's why everything is being documented. That's why sometimes my words are coming out all over the place. But that's what it is. I want to be able to show that what we do good deals 
makes what we do good deals does aids the community and not majorly profiting itself because technically eventually I don't need to be profiting with this this is the community effort this is my community service with that little dollar fifty per thing it helps bring in people to add more and build more and get more uh, partners and customers at the same time because it still takes money to make money even when you're a nonprofit or close to it so with that being said that's pretty much how it is I'm not trying to uh, I should record any of these other companies that, that do similar things and I know some of them have given away their services the same way recently because of this COVID but that's not been my whole agenda my agenda has been this the community so there's nothing else I can tell you about this whole progress I mean it started out it was a little discount card at 10% you just show our card you pay ten dollars for the card just like you would for sport you know for your local team sports but then that's why I decided kind of against that because I want Turbia to still be able to do that for the kids you know with the fundraising that they do that's a great fundraising program so maybe that'll still be tied in to this and there'll be a care to dying card still around but with that being said I'm just discussing what exactly is going on with the program like I said I'm going to be showcasing the, the 200 out of the opening of the uh, community account now the community account does not mean that everybody can just take money no that's just the account that will be showcased to the community and how much it has on it, where the money goes, and what's going on with it over the next, until I'm six feet underground and the next person in my, in my lineage or in my uh, We Do Good Deals program, as it'll be stated in the B Corp uh, rules, that this will continue on the way it was created for, not to become anything like before mentioned businesses. It's always going to be a community service. It's always going to be a, you know, a public service. Both for the partners, for the customers, and for the community. There's three parts of the community that always are important. Because you need small business and medium business, and sometimes you need large business to be able to keep communities going as we see now um, grocers are being seen as you know frontline people and we, we've gone a little crazy with the way we buy but eventually maybe they'll become big brother like they have in many ways like Quinn's did uh, a friend of mine in, in, in an organization that I also donated uh, to and we'll be donating more to and more services to. They help over 200 families get get Easter dinner taken care of and during this whole quarantine time and there, there's so much that still needs to be done and right and so much that can will be done when we can get back to a real life that is the, 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 the social animals that we are what we need is a little bit of interreaction. So join with me if you will. And I really want to see these communities grow. The money that's paid into these communities can go a long way. So 